And I'm sorry, this computer talks to me for some reason, so <laughs> ignore that. All right, so um, everyone here, Catherine, do you have Canva? I don't think you do. Uh, I can't remember, but I'm gonna go through the process of showing you how um, to set up an account just for those who might watch later because they missed the program. Um, and then we'll just start looking at the different um, aspects of Canva, the free version. And then near the end of class, we can um, compare it to the pro version by logging on to a different account. So to sign up, you would first go to canva.com um, and you would go to the sign up button. And there's a couple of ways to log in. You can either sign up with your um, Google account. So instead of creating a Canva account, you can just log in with Google or you can use Facebook. Um, or you can just sign up with your email, which is the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to call this one. And we'll put in this email and we'll create a password. And then it's pretty much as simple as that. You're just going to then go to your email and get the code, which I'm doing off screen, give me one second. You can copy and paste it into, into the, the thing that was just popped up. You don't have to type it individually. So when you first make your Canva account, you're gonna choose what you're making this for. Um, so you, if you're a small business, you're making this for your small business, nonprofit or charity, large company, personal, um, teacher or student. In this case, since I'm making it for the library, I'm going to make it a you nonprofit know, or charity. Um, and then you can add people to your team. So that means that they will be able to log in with their email address and be able to work on the same piece that you're working on uh, simultaneously. Actually, it's kind of great. Um, that way you can um, see what each other are doing and work together and kind of brainstorm and not have to be standing over the same computer. So in this case, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to just skip. Um, if you don't know their email address offhand, you can always um, get the link and copy and paste it and save it for later. So I'm going to skip that. So it's going to pop up like create your first design. Um, in this case, I'm going to just you can search. Um, Nancy, you said you want to do a newsletter, right? I think you did. Okay, so we're going to just look at how to make newsletters. Um, you guys can unmute yourself and um, ask me questions as we go through, because otherwise, I don't know if I'm covering the stuff you want to cover. Um, okay. So you can let me know. All right. So, but it was newsletter you were looking for, correct? That you want to try out? Yes, it was. It is. Okay. Awesome. All right. So At specifically, um, specifically an email newsletter. Okay. So we can always do that too. We can go back and see um, search. We can do email um, newsletter right here. And when you first look it up, you can um, see a whole bunch of different templates that they have available to you. Right now, this is showing you free and pro. You can choose to just look at free. Mm -hmm. um, so like, at, like when we were looking just now, it didn't show, you know, you had to pay for it or what is pro. Like it has a little crown for pro. This is paid. Mm -hmm. You would have to do separate. So I'm going to leave it on free. And then it will say free when you hover over it. So you can do it off of one of these um, templates here, or I always just like to go and create a blank one um, because you can then look at the templates later. Okay. okay. So, um, or you can do free hands. So you were do you said realty? So right here, real estate newsletter it gives you a whole bunch of different types that you can do. This so would, this this email newsletter would be for my church. Okay. So you scroll down, church newsletter is right here. Okay. They have different, they have different templates that you can use. Uh -huh. um, so for 
let's say we're looking we're going to look at the um church newsletter we can click see all okay. and then anything that doesn't have a crown or a little coin with a money symbol in it you mm -hmm. can use um and if it just says one of two then it me automatically means it's free but if you scroll down enough um you'll sometimes find paid ones especially if you search for something specific okay um so it depends upon what you want and a lot of these say one of two so if you click on it it'll give you two options okay um, so you can choose which one you prefer which one works better for what you need and then you can always edit it Okay. So is there one in here that you kind of like that you want to play with? Well, actually, what I'm looking for is as long as I could probably use all of them because mm -hmm. we don't use a lot of copy. We have a lot of flyers that we send out every day, every week. So can you add pages to these? Like, yeah, in of the, course. okay, so anyone would be good. Okay, so let's say in, inspiring mornings. That looks good. Okay, so we would do this. You have two options for how you want to do it. You can hit apply both pages. So we'll okay. open up both. So in okay. this case, I will. Um, so you can always change it. So I'm going to zoom okay. in because I know it's really small at the moment. I have to move you guys out of the way. Um, so we're going to go to 75. So it's a little bit easier. So obviously like you would change this. It's not February, 2020 anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't do the date like this or your volume like this and stuff like that. You can put something else like your church name or something. Okay. Um, and then obviously this is, you're going to just change everything. If you don't like the fonts or anything uh -huh. um, or something like that, you can always go in and change it, highlight it all. Um, and then I'm going to move you guys again. Let me skip tour because I know what to do. Um, any of the fonts that have this little crown symbol again is for pro so you can mm -hmm. use it. Um, mm -hmm. What's also helpful is that it makes it a little bit lighter, it's fainter so it, you can see the difference like okay that's not one I can use. Um, so let's say instead you wanted to use this font so you can change mm -hmm. it, mess around with it. You want it bigger you can hear, hit the plus button or you can choose a specific number or you can type in a specific number mm -hmm. now can you just instead if you don't want to put a um if you don't want to put content written content here can you just put a photo in there can you substitute a photo in there yeah so what you could do let's say if you want to leave this i hit ungroup whenever i get a template that way I can also move things around and put oh, it in the okay. place that I want. So okay. most templates, they're going to be grouped together. So I would ungroup it and then I'll hit the backspace, get rid of it. Um, and if you want to upload a picture, um, you go to uploads. I don't have anything at the moment. So you would upload media from your device. If you have a Facebook, Instagram or Google Drive or Dropbox you want to use from, you can do that as well. Okay. Or if you don't have a picture, things have changed a little bit. Um, wow. if you guys have played with it before. There used to be template elements, photos, uploads, um, text, background, all that. You might've noticed that missing. Mm -hmm. um, so they condensed things. So elements is now like the, the little graphics and the shapes and all that and the photos and the videos. Okay. So let's say we want to put in a picture of a dog mm -hmm. for the fun of it. You can you can see everything at once. If you want just photos, you can go to that. Um, if you wanted the graphics, you can do it that way, videos, et cetera, audio, which you don't, <laughs> you want to look at, at that. So that's that's how you can add something. Let's say, I want this one, because it's mm -hmm. kind of cute, this video. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do it like that. You can resize it, um, shrink it, make it bigger. Um, let's say if you want it like, you know, want the words in front of it, or right. if you just, um, let's say there was something else like this, for instance, if this came in and it was in front, right, and you, you're like, I can't see my words anymore, so you would click on it, you would hit position, mm. and you would hit backward, or sometimes it will say to back mm -hmm. or to forward, okay. and then you can also change the alignment, there's center, you can do right, left, middle, top, bottom, it helps especially if you're trying to get like dead center, mm -hmm. it really helps if you do 
center middle and then it's where you want it to be. Now let's say you have um, items like hyperlinks. Can you put hyperlinks in these? Um, I haven't tried that. Let me, okay. let's say, I want to say you know, www.google.com. Because how does it, does it save it as a PDF or does it, how does it? It, it does save as a PDF. I okay. don't think you can do links because I, I don't know if that was new. Oh yes, you can right here. So I want to link it Let's do Google. So you apply it and then when you click it later, when it saves as a PDF, you'll be able to, to use it. You can't test it okay. um, as, while it's in Canva. You would have to, you would go to this little button that says download, that okay. symbolizes for download and you would mm -hmm. change it to um, PDF standard or PDF print, however you wanna do it. Mm -hmm. Print is, you know, the best one. Um, you would hit download and it will download for you. And then we'll just test it out. So it's down here. Let me just change the share screen so you can see it. Oh, wait, you can. Can you still see it? Yes, I can see it. Okay, good. So down here. We oh, I see. Com, okay, great. And then it opens it up for you. All right. So basically, I just have to fool around with it yeah okay so yeah so it's you know it's kind of it's just like that you have to fool around with again you can't test the links until you download the, mm -hmm. the now, file my last question is and if you wanted to add extra pages how do you do that to this button right here add page it would be blank or that's if you're doing multiple things in one so like if uh -huh. you're making flyers for instance uh -huh. um and you want a whole new idea you would hit it like that here's the you realize i don't want this anymore you hit the delete page right up mm -hmm. here on the top okay um what you might want is you want the same layout you would yes. hit uh -huh. um duplicate page right here next to the trash bin okay and so which is duplicate this one with the okay. two right here yeah with the plus sign and let's say you want to change the order of your pages you can move it up or you can move it down okay like that and then you All can right. also add a title to the page um let's say this is trips. you know like you're doing church trips so this is so you know oh i don't want the trips there i want to hear or something like that so it's easier for you to see um you can also click here and you'll see it this way so you can see everything lined up next to each other and this you know sometimes you can't always see what's on the page so the titles help you okay this was the trips one i want it over here instead which you can click and drag and move it like that instead okay and then you can change it back to this way this view like that and then the change the name you would come up here and you can change um, the, the title so you can demo and then when you go back to home, you can see it here on the home page. It says it's generating. Once it's finished, generates finishes generating. You can see um, preview the pages from here. It'll show you the front one. If you hover over it, it will flip through what you like the first couple pages you have. Mm -hmm. If you have more than just one design, you would go to all your designs, and you'd be you would see everything here. Okay. And then and just like with Google Drive, there's a section for shared with you. So let's say someone shared it with you to work on with that with them. This is where you would find it. You wouldn't, it would be under all your designs, but sometimes it's easier to find um, what you need in the shared your shared with you. It, it, that's if you have like a whole bunch, um, kind of like with Google Drive. Um uh, Tanya, did you have any? Thank you questions? very much. You're welcome. Um, is there anything that you wanted to look at? You know, not really. This is my first time on this. Okay. Um, my daughter Stella has uh, taken STEM and got a lot of this. And so um, she's she's been trying to show me some of it, but it's nice to actually see it right up mm -hmm. in front of me. And she just learned um, that she could do hyperlinks. So we're good. <laughs> anything you want to throw at us, we're, we're happy to learn it. Okay. How do so, you do the postcard? 
the postcard. All right, so you would look up um, postcard. It will give you the size that you want. So you can always just look up a blank app, make a blank one, but by looking up the um, what you want, it gives you the right size. So we want postcard, which would be a five by five by four by three, you know, the standard size. Again, you can look at the different templates if you want to. Otherwise, I like to create a blank one. Um, and then the templates are great because it kind of gives you ideas. Like uh, when I make the flyers here, I sometimes don't know what direction I want to go in for it. So let's say um, one of the, like say for this class, I wanted to make a postcard for this class. So sometimes I'll look up keywords like, all right, computer, um, see if there's anything under there. This is really the only one, it's a bookstore, but you know, so that didn't really help me. So maybe I'll try to look for something else like maybe technology. I'll do stuff like that, trying to figure out what might help. Of course, I'm looking for something very specific, <laughs> but most times I have more success than that. Otherwise I'll look through and see like, okay, this looks really cool. I wanna look at the photo ones cause I have some photos I wanna do. Um, maybe I want to do, I wanna do a cooking program, right? So this one looks cool, the ice cream color one. I can show off the different types that we, types of things that they will be learning in the class. So I can always change the photo, like change each individual photo. So let's say, uh, one of the cooking classes we're going to have is um, zucchini noodles, right? Zucchini noodles, or zucchini, as some people call them. Um, so you can see, look up pictures. I want specifically photos, so I'll switch it. Um, it doesn't really have what I want, but this, this is close enough right here. So I can click it. Of course, it's pro. <laughs> But if you can do that with any photo that you, you download from the internet, you can, um, as you saw, I just clicked it and I put it into the spot. It's like, okay, these are, this is what we're doing. And it will automatically put it into that spot and crop it the way it has it here. Or you can always kind of just work on it freehand. So let's say I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do something something a little different. So I want I want a frame. I want to put things in different perspectives so I can look up the frame. And these are all the different frames that I can add. This is what will you can put your photo in so it's not just one of those square rectangle photos. Um, so let's say I want to put it I just want a circle and put it in this one. And I want it off to the side like that. I'll go back to my photos. Um, I like this zucchini one. Let's put it here and I'll make it big. And then I can I'm gonna move the other way. I can move around my words or if I have a specific person that I'm having come in, let's say this person is the person coming in to cook and this is their shot like photo they submitted to us. I could put it here. Um, I want him facing the food. I can always flip it. So you would hit flip horizontal and it changes the direction. Maybe I want them standing on the side. I can put it upside down if I really want to. That's like more if, let's say, instead of him, we want to flip, we want to flip the zucchini. And we can change it like that. It's up to you. All right, we want the zucchini facing a different way. You can't really tell. Um, another great thing about Canva that I have, like I take full advantage of, it is very good at creating, um, it, it's really good at removing backgrounds. So let's say I just want him here. I don't want the blue background because it doesn't go with my black background of the entire project. I'll go to effects and move to background remover. Oh, I forgot that that's a pro thing. Um, I got, I, I'm used to it. So it's really fun because you can remove it um, with pro, but there's plenty of stuff that you can do without pro. So. You can change like, you know, the filter if you want. Um, we can also do, do tone, go to connect. So again, this one at least you don't have to pay for it. So you can change it. I want it, I want it purple or something. I want it more orange. It's up to how you want it. Maybe you don't want this anymore. Your undo button is right up here. And you can change everything that you did. Um, these are, just a bunch of different 
um, effects that you can do to it, it's up to you. Some of them, I don't think you really have to pay for any of them. No, you don't. And does it upload PDFs or just um, photos? Just So let me, let me undo these. So yeah, so it's not just PDFs. So you would hit again this, um, the, the down button for download. It's, you can do PDF prints. Um, if you want, you can download it as a PNG or as a JPEG. Uh, if it's animated, like there's a video in it, or if you have animations, let me show you an animation. So I was asking, can okay. you upload a PDF? Like if you have a PDF that you wanna put in the newsletter or on the postcard, can you use a PDF? Or do you have to make it a photo? Um, that is a good question. Let's, for the fun of it, let's upload, let's try playing, uh, uploading it. I believe you would have to make it an image though, but okay. we can always try it out. So we're in the downloads. Yeah, so it doesn't support um, downloading as a PDF, but like I said, with the other one, we can go back We'll go to this um, demo one. We can change the, the download. We can change it to a PNG. And then we now, can- My always... question was, let's say I have a document or a, a photo that came to me as a PDF that I wanted to include in the newsletter. So if I went to my computer and it's saved as a PDF, will, it, will, will Canva accept that? Or, no, it that's won't. What I'm, that's yeah, what no, I'm it, asking. Yeah, no, it won't because it, as we saw when we were trying to look for the PDF we had downloaded earlier. Okay, all right, that's what work. Because okay. when you when you yeah, it's image, okay. videos, and audio, and when you go, like it should be in my downloads, but it's not. It's just images. Okay, thank you. The You're other welcome. thing, um, do you ever? where Canva actually had cartoons. Have you done that yet? I have not played with that yet. Okay. So you mean the, let's see. Um, I just gotta, we can play around with that because I have not had the need to play with it just yet. But here's the cartoon templates. All right, so we're trying to find, because this one, you can't make a blank one, it appears, it looks like. That's cute. Um, yeah, no, I would have to play around with that a little bit more. I play, I normally do just like the flyers and all like the more professional, like not okay, professional, thank you. like for a professional setting. I don't play with the um, the cartoons, and I don't see how we can do that with the free version at the moment. I'm trying. Let's see. So you can look at the different options here. Oh, there's a comic strip. Maybe that's it. Yeah, so, I mean, you can do the comic strip option and you can look at the templates or make it yourself. Um, so like, here's the comp, here's the, the template and then you can make it yourself with the different, like they have the different sets and stuff like that. Is that what you were talking about, Nancy? Um, no, I was talking about the cartoons, but since it's in the pro version, but the, um, the comic strips are good too. Yeah, because I don't see, yeah, so you can do that, drag it. So yeah, so also another thing to point out, if you have multiple things um, and you want to say, oh, I put this one on, like, pasted this onto the wrong page, you can always just drag it. Um, with Canva, you have to use the, the sh command shortcuts or the um, keyboard shortcuts. You can't um, copy and paste, mm -hmm. so like mm -hmm. copy, of course it's gonna show me wrong. Normally when you paste and copy, it tells you to use the um, keyboard options instead. It's a little bit easier to, instead of doing all that. Um, so copy would be control C. Um, cut you can also do would be the control X. 
and then, you know, control. I hit the wrong button. I do that sometimes. Um, control V is, you know, paste. And depending upon where you cut it from, copy it from on one page, will it will go into the same spot on the other page. So you saw how I pulled it from here. It lines up exactly with here. So that's another thing you have to, um, when you're doing things, if you're expecting it, where you clicked on it, it's not always gonna go there. Um, and then you can do preview and you can see your comic strip like that. Um, let's see, what else is there? So yeah, so then, um, like I was saying before, so here's the, they have, um, Loaded so you can see the preview and you can flip through the different pages you have. Um, and you can see what's on each of them and say, okay, I needed this for something else. I want to copy it um, to another one. This is how I do it. Um, let's say if you have like a newsletter and you want to create a flyer as well, or you have something from your postcards and you want to do something else with it. Let's say I want to add to my demo newsletter something that I had from my postcard. Um, if you want it to be exact, normally you have to have it the same size, but you can always change things around. What I do is I will copy um, the background first. So I'm going to just add a page, copy the background first, um, and then you can copy different sections. And it, you can kind of like, let's say we're going to make this a big postcard. So you see like this one in particular is being picky about being able to change it. So let's do it like we can do that. Um, you go to the next one. And if you shift, hold on, sorry. Shift while you're clicking everything, and you'll be able to pick up multiple things at once. So let's do this. Copy, paste, and I'll put it where you kind of need it. Um, so put that there. Your square is going to go here. You can change, you know, move things around individually. Or you can do it like that it's neat. How did you get that all that info all that content from the postcard onto that? What did you hit? So what I did what I, um, is that I went over here and I saw how I had it all highlighted. I click on one and then I hold the shift button on my keyboard and then I'm copy I'm clicking everything I want to copy over at once. And then I'll do the control B, the control C, um, but I have it already copied and I would go over here. Let's say I want two versions of it. You know, I can paste again if I want to, or you can select everything again. Hold on a second. You can group it, which it's not gonna let me group because one other thing is already grouped but you can duplicate it right here and then everything if you do it right my fingers aren't working today <laughs> it will come it will keep it selected and you'll be able to move it uh into another spot so i moved that into the wrong spot and you'll be able to um do that so this right here you see how it's grouped that prevents you from grouping anything else so you can um, ungroup over here, and then you would select everything, and then it'll make your life a lot easier. Um, if you do this, click. Sometimes it's really annoying because you click something you don't want to click, like I just did. So that you would group it then, and then it makes it a lot easier to copy and then move it all at once, as you see, as I'm doing. So let's. Do another page. Um, like I want to move this over here, and then it moves it all at once, and it makes everything a lot easier. Move this here. Move the position backwards, and you see everything again. So that's one way. That's one way if you're making multiple copies of something. So like what I do here is I'll make the flyer, and then I'll make the Facebook post, and I'll, I want them to look similar, similar so that they um, there's some continuity. And I will just copy the background and then copy the content and shift it around the way I need it to be shifted to be able to fit in a new format like that. Very nice. 
we've got a um i've got a very general question um sure. so uh both my daughters are much more conversant at this than i am i uh but they um i mean just to, to date myself like i was pretty good with cork back in the day if anyone even knows what cork is but um, <laughs> anyway they um they download a lot of imagery and then we have discussions on what sort of malware you can pick up by downloading stuff and well yeah uh stella's just reminding me that on the school computer they don't let you um they, they don't let you grab that much stuff but without the speaking of not on the school computer are there certain sites that are better or worse in terms of what you're going to end up picking up as you're cutting and pasting or is it better to sort of cut and paste rather than download onto your own machine? So it depends. Uh, what I do is I normally open another tab and I'll just search a picture. So let's say I want a kitten on my, on my postcard. I'll just go to the images thing. And I most nine times out of 10, I will just copy and paste it. I would copy image, go over here and I want my kitten here. And it will copy and it's full. Um, this is the full resolution and all that. It's not blurry. It's not doing something weird. Um, so that way it saves you a little bit. You're not downloading it onto your computer and then uploading. It also saves time. So you don't have to download it and then you have to go to uploads and then go to upload. Um, the only thing when you do that, it's weird. It does it twice. So if you want to keep your thing clean, you can always trash it. Or if you then like you copied it and you never um downloaded it and you need it for something else and you want to keep the image then you can download it from canva and that could also give you another kind of layer of protection um but i'm going to just trash this uh, now, but it's still when here. i use do i do stuff and i use powerpoint a lot and i remember mm -hmm. court by the way but i use powerpoint a lot and powerpoint um you know it's microsoft so when you go to insert they have really good stock photos mm -hmm. and they also have another level and i just use and you could put in flowers you could put in grandfather and everything and um you get some very good images if you have microsoft and you're in um powerpoint or anything that you want to do you could see some images like that as well yeah and you could do that with this as well instead of going to the internet let's say again i want to look up a kit i can search it here and it will give me photos that i don't have to download from the internet it's already on the canvas server so i'm not downloading it onto my computer excellent okay that is that's very helpful the only time i really download anything um let's say I need a pen, like this was before we had, I, the library had pro and I wanted something without a background. So I would say, you know, transparent background. Um, sometimes when you copy and paste, here, I'll do this um, and watch again, it will prove me wrong. I wanna copy and paste. When I paste it, you see it didn't download as a P, like it didn't upload as a PNG. So the transparency background is still there. Whereas if I were to, Sometimes it also is very picky. It doesn't do it right. Um, let's say we're going to, where's, why am I? Save image as, that's what I wanted. Um, and it will save it as a PNG. And then hopefully it will have worked the way it's supposed to. Cause again, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, this one I don't think worked correctly, but that was the, that would be the only time that sometimes it would be a, an experiment to figure out how I can get something without a background. But again, Canva has a lot of um, stock photos. So you really don't need to go out and download anything. Um, and if you do, I tend to just copy and paste. This one's cute, this one might work. Let's let's try this one real quick, save images. Um, let me do uploads. And you see it's a lot more work to have to download and then, um, then it save. Oh, I have to move you guys. 
Yeah, so I don't know if you can see the bottom. This one says it can't be downloaded securely. So this has like, this computer has extra protection. So this is telling me it's not good. So we'll discard it. Um, but yeah, so I normally try to just copy and paste or use what's available um, in the, 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 the server itself. So like here would be the PNG, but this one you have to pay for. That so it's up to you. Cool. Thank you. That, um gives me a, a bit of peace of mind. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Um, did you guys want to see the pro version? I know you can see all the um, what is pro, but did you want to see what you can do with it? I would like to see it. All right, so let's sign out here. We're going to... How much is the pro version? Mm, I think per year it's a hundred something. I can't remember for sure here. We can, um, I'm gonna look it up because I don't know if there's private information on the account thing. How much is Canva Pro? So yeah, so uh, yeah, it's 119 um, for year. Okay. Yeah. So it's one nineteen a year, um, or this one is thirty dollars per person. But this is different. Um, a lot of people just use the pro version. Um, all right. So let me close some of my tabs because I am very lost with where I am. <laughs> and it also slows down your computer. So sometimes you find yourself with a whole bunch of tabs open. Remember to close the ones you're not using. Uh, with Canva because it will significantly slow down your computer. All right, so let's check out. You want to look at the cartoon one, right? Let's see if we can find. Oh, this is looking through my designs. So that's not what I want. All right, so let's see. I'm doing weird finding it. Um, I don't know why I'm not finding it. I guess we're just going to have to have another class. <laughs> so, with Pro, let's. I'm going to open up one of these. Um, let's say I'll just create a new one. So, create a design. We'll do. You could do a presentation. I lied. I'm sorry. You can do a um, kind of like a PowerPoint. Somebody had asked me that. I don't think it was in this class. It was outside this class. So you can make like a PowerPoint slide presentation here. Um, and with Pro, you don't have to worry about, you know, any of those things. You can really just look for anything. So let's say um, we want a education presentation. You can do all these different kind of things. Let's do science lesson. And you can do all these um, pages. Sometimes they have um, sample ones that they have. The templates are ones that somebody has made before. And it, if you like the idea, you can always change the content. Again, um, you can ungroup. And that's what I like doing first, because then I can change the spacing. Um, and you can change what you're writing. One thing I also want to point out when you're working, let's say some fonts have more spacing or line spacing or different letter spacing. Like some of them, it looks like they're really big and far away from each other like this. Let's say if you want, you need to fit more stuff in what, a smaller space. I always like to check to see what the line spacing is and try to make it as small as possible or as like as best as you can for your but as small as you need for your space without it overlapping and you can change it doing that so you would go here to the spacing sometimes start, certain fonts have bigger line spacing so your letters will be this far away and you want to make them closer so that, again they can fit in the space you're working with you can you can also make it smaller um this would i probably be where i stop or if you want it to just be normal you can do that you can try to get it to the center. This should be more for it. So this is what it is normally. Um, but again, sometimes like when you're trying to fit in a small space, 
you want to make it, you want to change that, manipulate that a little bit, because you'll find cer certain fonts or certain um, preloaded text, like font combinations, stuff like that, if you don't want to try to figure out like this, for instance, let's do this. Sometimes if it's not necessarily two separate ones, you can change the line spacing by doing this and it will make it closer or small, um, further apart because it depends on the default. In this case, it's two separate ones. Okay. What might be um, a reason that you would use Canva in this case over PowerPoint? Um, one of the reasons would be PowerPoint. One, not everybody has access to PowerPoint um, because you have to pay for Microsoft Office unless you're using the free version online. Um, this would allow you to also then have more, um, more this has like templates that are more up to date and more modern, I would say, whereas PowerPoint, it seems like you have very few templates and they're very like rigid, whereas these you can manipulate however you want. Uh, let's say I don't want this anymore. I just want a solid green or I can change it. I can do whatever I want to it. Um, you have more options. You can look at the elements. You can change, um, let's say, again, I want frames. I like using frames a lot sometimes. Instead of just putting an image there, I can choose, okay, so I have this. And I want to upload, um, uh, let's see, this food image. I want to put it here. And then my, I have another one further up. And this food image, I want them together. And then I can do different effects with them. Whereas with PowerPoint or Google Slides, you won't, won't be able to play around as much. You won't be as creative with it as you would with Canva. Oh, that's cool. All right. Yeah. So there's a whole bunch of different um, different things that you can't do with those two that you can do with this. And this is more for creativity. And you can do stuff like um, let's go back. You know, like, like thank you cards. Um, you can do th wedding thank you cards. They have specific things, funeral, christening, all that stuff. Or let's say um, you want to make a poster. <laughs> or a phone wallpaper that's actually that'd be fun to play with. Um, so it, it also gives you like the certain dimensions that you need for things. Um, you can create a blank one, you can do a whole bunch of different stuff with it. And so this is more, so it's not necessarily just for, like you can do your presentations everywhere else, but this is just, it's more fun to play with and gives you a chance to be more creative and get kids drawn in or your, your clients drawn in because it's different than what they're not used to seeing. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, let me just delete this. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. Let's do, um, I'm going to show you with one of these. I'll go to the June Facebook one because I'm done messing with it. Okay. So one of the things I like doing, like I said, is getting rid of backgrounds. So let's say, so I have this one. This was for a Robert the Guitar Guy. For some reason, his image is not loading. It's taking a little while to load. There we go. So as we saw earlier, if I scroll down in my pictures, the original image was this. This is the image I got. And let's say I need his image there. It's not as, it kind of takes up more space and it just, it doesn't match with the theme I'm going with. So I love going to effects and doing the background remover. And one of the great um, good things about this is it's just a little bit easier than doing it in Microsoft Word. Um, so as you can see, it didn't get rid of everything because there was a lot of different colors back there. So you can then go in if it missed stuff, instead of clicking like the little plus and minus sign, you can just erase it like a paintbrush like this. And you can change the size. So let's say there's something really close, like right here by his elbow, and I don't want to actually get rid of his elbow. You can do that. Say I accidentally do go through his head. Oh no, I can restore it. And we can change the paintbrush. Um, and let's say some images you can't really tell where it ends and where it doesn't. You can hit show original image, and that way you can see, okay, this is where I need to go to fill it in. 
it gives you a better idea of what's missing and where things are supposed to be and what you need to do. So like I would continue doing this and this, and then you hit done when you're done and you're like, okay, well, I missed some stuff. And then you can always go back. Uh, one of the annoying things is though, if you accidentally click away from it, you can't then change the background again. You would have to click um, remove background again and then go through this process. And then you would continue erasing or restoring. Another thing you could do is you can animate your page. So let's say I want to do a zoom on it. So this is like, let's say this is my face. This is, these are my Facebook images. So like when I post a, make a post, I want him to stand out so I can have different effects added onto it. When people um, scroll past it, they'll see this because then I can hit download and I'll download it as an MP4 video and upload it as a video. Or you can also download it as a GIF and then it will, it will still do the movement. But you, if you added sound, because you can add sound to some of these, it just won't have the sound. Can you like make something in this and then put it to maybe something else in Canva? Like if I made this and I wanted to put it in a newsletter, could you do that? Yeah, so this actually came from, if I go to the June flyers, um, I originally started here. Let me go to this particular, here it is. So this was the original file that I had with this. So like I was showing in the other one, um, you would click the different parts and you can copy and paste it. So I'm gonna just show you, I'll make a, a new one, right? So I'll just add a page right here. So this is my blank page. When you add a page from another one, it will take the background with it. So you tend to delete it. Um, so I want this background, I'll copy paste and then I go and try to grab as much as well, I don't want that. I want to grab as much as possible. So I want the images and stuff like that. I'll copy, paste. And now it stays in the format that you had it in on the other one, but you can manipulate it. So I'll just make this bigger, I'll move it up and then I can grab these and group them together because I want them to stay in the same orientation. Um, this will allow me to make it bigger if I want to. And again, you would go to hit the three dots because sometimes if you have a bigger screen, because at home I have a bigger screen, I'm using a laptop right now, This these three dots aren't there because everything fits on the screen. Right now though, if I get rid of this, you'll see you'll, some of the stuff, it will move, it disappears. So it depends upon how big your screen is. Um, but again, so what I'm trying to do right now is I'm going to position and I want this in the middle and I want the center and I've got it pretty center. It also has those guidelines when they're solid, that means you're right there on that, on that line. Um, let's say right now it's kind of off and it's telling me that's why it's a dotted line. So as I move it, it'll become more solid. Um, you can also sometimes they have, you see, you see that box here. Sometimes you, most images you, you should try to stay inside this box because people are looking at the center and that, that's how you know where, um, where most of your information is going to be if you want it to look as appealing as it can be. Um, but again, sometimes you don't need it like that. So I just move things around to fit the different orientations and as you can see, I just took everything from this flyer and I put it into a new file and a new format. You can do it like that. The only other way I Thank can think you. of, you're welcome. Sometimes um, that, that's the only way I can think of, of how to copy things. Let's say if you're starting a new flyers file um, and you just want that one. But if you have like well, at the library, we have a lot of repeating events, um, especially up here in the beginning, our yoga and our computer classes and our meditation. So what you can do is you'll hit these three dots, not these three dots, that's not what I want. We'll go to the main page to our, all our designs. You'll hit the three dots here and you can hit make a copy and this will duplicate everything. So I'll just show you, makes a copy. It duplicates everything if it loads, here it is, it's generating. And I'll say copy of this. And let's say this is now gonna be, I've already done August, we're gonna start doing September. So September. 
fire, 20, two, um, 21 fires and then everything's the same. And then let's say you wanna keep this, you just change the date and stuff like that. That's the other way you can copy um, from one file to another. If that's if you want most of the same um, and you don't have another one that you already wanna put it into. just delete this. And again, you can share it with other people um, so that they can help work on it simultaneously with you. So we have about four more minutes left. Is there any questions or anything I might have missed that you wanted me to go over? What's the um, library's um, YouTube page? How do I get to it? So you go to YouTube and you just look up our name. So it's the Tuckahoe Public Library. And it's this page right here. And so we have different playlists. We have um, our wellness programs, our tech help classes, um, our arts and crafts, cooking, author events. And then I also do the tech help videos. So um, I'm going to show you them just in case. Um, so like if these are kind of also shorts of different, shorter versions of different classes I've had in the past. So let's say um, I did a class on how to browse the online catalog as if you were in the library. So that would be this video, um, how to keep track of your reading history, stuff like that. Um, I don't know, that was this video. And then how to log into, uh, Libby was another class that we did. Um, so this teaches you how to log on. This is how it teaches you how to search and stuff like that. So if you don't wanna watch the whole class, um, I'm slowly working through different classes and shortening them so that they are more condensed and you can watch them and go through and not have to listen to me pause to answer different questions. So again, if you missed any um, programs that you might've wanted to see, like the um, special story time where we met Roberta, the rabbit, or um, the embroidery craft we had, you can always watch um, the videos now. So that's what we're going to do later as well. Are there any other questions? No, I'm honestly just, this is, uh fantastic. I had no idea that all this was available. So um, it's been a, a real education in addition to learning about Canva. So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, there's a lot yes, of thank stuff you available. so much. I just didn't even know you had an embroidery class. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of our short programs. So yeah, always um, check out our calendar. We have different programs every month. Sometimes they're embroidery. Sometimes it's um, at one point we had crochet classes. Um, we have different lectures, like um, I think it was April, we had a Beatles lecture for the 50th anniversary. Um, we had um, a whole bunch of different guest speakers come in and stuff like that that we've recorded. We haven't recorded all of them, but we've recorded a lot that you can always go back and watch. Faith, it's been awesome. Thank you so much. I really- Yes, thank you very no much.